Well, the, G, the GEU, uh, Genetic Evaluation and Utilization, Utilization Program, was started in 1973 at Erie, and uh, it, was a pro it was a program to get uh, a large number of scientists involved with evaluating the potential um, genes and germplasm at Erie uh, and for the use of that germplasm in, in breeding, in, in breeding for, for different important traits of rice. Uh, including the unfavorable environments where you have drought and submergence, deep water rays, upland rice, all those aspects. Uh, so I think it was really a very um, uh, excellent program. Uh, of course, one of the, f the reasons it, it was successful, I think it was, there, were, there were a lot of uh, resources available. They, they really had quite a good budget and so they were able to hire a lot of people to help with screening the germplasm for many different traits. And uh, there were many people involved from different disciplines, physiologists, uh, entomologists, pathologists, uh, serial chemists, uh, many people who looked at different aspects of, of rice and different traits in rice and looked to discover new genes and new donors uh, for the breeding programs. It was a very uh, successful effort. Uh, I came more or less in, in the middle of the, the GEU program and uh, I think all of, all of the breeders uh, benefited immensely from the identification of these uh, varieties, which uh, we've still been using them as um, parents in our breeding program. So uh, it was a very um, uh, far-sighted and um, intense effort to mine the, the, the gene bank, the rice gene bank, which we had at Erie. And in that sense, it was, it was a very successful program. It stopped uh, sometime in the late 80s. I don't remember the exact year that it stopped, but uh, one of the problems was, uh, you know, it was, it was a bit expensive to run that program. And so uh, the funding kind of ran out. And um, I think also a lot of scientists felt that after doing something for a certain period of time, uh, it's better to, to try some, some different approach or some other, other effort. Uh, so it stopped around then and it's been going on at a fairly low level. Every once in a while, somebody will go in and start screening for the gene bank for some, some traits. Um, however, I do think we're, we're ripe to actually revive a kind of effort on, um, on GEU like we, we had in the, in the 1980s. And um, I think that uh, with the new tools uh, from molecular biology, as well as the um, larger collection that we have now with a lot of new entries, uh, it, it would be a good idea to revisit that and to see um, how we could go about um, a new effort. And, and that new effort would involve things like sequencing a uh, larger number of varieties and large-scale uh, phenotyping, large-scale um, uh, screening for important characteristics. And, and, and in fact, there are new traits that were not even screened then that we could look at. So uh, I think that it would be worthwhile to uh, revisit the the whole area of the GEU program and you know maybe initiate um, a GEU program phase two perhaps uh, with more uh, modern technology.